gonna be weak. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Sorry that I'm late. Um, hey guys, Trax is here with another video for you today. Today we are back in Bone Lab, of course, and we got a huge weapon mod showcase for you guys. And as you can see, all of these guns up here, plus the ones behind me, almost could have fit them all. And of course, as you just saw there, I got a, a new skin. Obviously, it's from Modern Warfare 2, but let's get right into it. We're gonna go ahead and start right on down to that end right there. So here we are. We gotta start with the ultimate AK pack well there there he goes as you can see this is one of your standard AKs with multiple railing system this middle variant of course because why wouldn't it be and of course as per freaking usual I forget something like uh, all the ammo but yeah this is you know your standard AK multiple railing system Guess you're scared of AK guys. Has multiple AKs, obviously. This is your basic AK, so I don't think there's point going over that. <laughs> Up next, we got another AK with only a top release system, apparently. Same ammo and whatnot. AK. Up next, we got an AK with a with a built-in grip. That's just pretty neato burrito. As you all know, or most of you should know by now, I'm not a big fan of AKs and Glocks, but hey, to each their own, and these ones aren't that bad. There are only certain variants of AKs I accept, really, that's cool. I mean, not terrible. I'll say that. Up next is the AK-74. AK... <laughs> Pun not intended. <laughs> AKA the uh, submachine gun variant, of course. Ooh, that's a nice face to it. <laughs> Her instant seems to be missing a piece here. I don't know if that's. I don't think that's by design, honestly. But it's it is what it is. Up next, we got the um, I actually believe I had this in one of my other videos, the PP19 AK with the stick mag. Yeah, that's a multiple rail system. This is a different version, of course, to the one I showed off. Yeah. Up next is actually an AK I've been waiting for. Sadly, it doesn't have the magazine type I want it, which is the drum mag. And it doesn't even have the standard longer extended mag. But hey, AK with a non functional bipod. But cool, none the least. Very nice. AK. Or actually RPD. <laughs> Up next is another AK 74U from actually not part of this pack. This is from a different pack, I believe. Big crunchy reload. Very punchy set. I wish I could do the Afghanistan AK reload with this. That would be super cool, but unfortunately you can't really. I mean, I guess, I guess you can do it like that. Since that works. 
guess that's a way you can do it in video games. Uh, I believe this, uh, yeah, I accidentally duped it. Up next, we got the CZ805, I believe, or CS805. I was probably right the first time. I've only seen this a few times on Call of Duty. I think Battlefield as well. Very nice. Glad we're getting more variety weapons. Very, very nice. Up next is this is a pack, by the way. So this is called the same thing, but experimental. Don't know what it does. This is just a red variant. Who knew? This is the Saber Lake version. Has a scope, as you can obviously see, with a grip. Not bad. This one gets some cool variants when uh, you get caught zombies. And modders are gonna have a lot to work with I'm making custom maps too. Up next, my personal favorite, the uh, blue variant suppressor. Because suppressor. Nice car. I'm definitely inserting that maybe in there because it never gets old. Up next, we got another handy dandy revolver. This is called the, I think the comical, commercial, comic, I, I don't know. Of course, it's another one of these. Um, there we go. Okay, that's how it looks. Very hard to reload this because it's so, so tiny. Yep, there it is. Pray to God you don't get this as a starting weapon or <laughs> any weapon in any upcoming zombies. If there is going to be any zombies. Up next is the Glock pack. There's actually more than these in there. I only decided to pick three because they feel like such of all of them. So, anyways, this is Glock something. These are all meme guns, so we'll see what it does. Looks like it just might uh, be hitting a bit harder. I will say, I do like the, so the sound of it so far. I love the punchy sound and the snappy reload. I like it. Still, I'm not a big fan of Glocks, but I still like that sound. This is the um, Glock something. <laughs> I forgot exactly which one this is supposed to be, but I thought so. <laughs> yeah, this is the super fast shooty one, rapid fire. We all know it. We all love it. Up next is <laughs> this one had a very weird name. Yep, that's that's that 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 right there is just yep. This is the don't tell me. Oh, they made a shotgun puffing Glock. That's super cursed, and I I I like this actually. <laughs> That's super cursed. I like this. Such a weird... See, this type of stuff I was kind of hoping for. Super cursed, weird, wonder weapon type weapons. Or just really, really cursed. Because, you know. Guys, you can't just hold it, you have to let go. Super fun to fire, though. How many rounds are in this thing? I got 57 more goddamn rounds in this four round magazine.
That's <laughs> so good. That's actually funny. I like it. I like it. But that, that's that's super fun. Fun Glock. Love it. Up next we got the Hitman something something. I don't I'm not gonna remember the name man. Y'all can see them in the description. Go yo. Y'all notice them in the description. You will you will get it. They're 1911s. They're extended Mac. Ooh. Fire and rapid fire 1911. Weird. <laughs> Look at this pile of guns so far. Maybe that should be the screenshot. <laughs> Up next, well, this this gets me really happy because it's the the Kuda the Kuda the Kuda the Kuda from Black Ops 3. Why does it make me happy? Because well, <laughs> this means we got a lot of COD zombie levels. So. Give a lot of, we're obviously going to cut zombie guns, but. <sighs> Come on. There it is. <laughs> yeah, cannot wait to get like custom camos and pack like, punch weapons and all that stuff. If someone could, please, the person who made the ray gun, make the Mark II, the Mark III. Or anyone, and someone please make the blunder bus. I would love if we got the blunder bus or the blunder gap. Sorry, blunder gap is what I meant. The blunder gap, but also make the blunder bus bus from Advanced Warfare. I actually like that thing. I know, Advanced Warfare. Ew. Also make the the laser rifle, not the not the beam one, but the V. The V. The it started with a V. It had like a battery magazine that ejected from the like spin around and ejected out of the side and you slap it a new one. God, I forgot the name of it. It's been so long. But that one's very fun to use, in my opinion. Up next we got L something Magnum. You guys can find these down below. This this one's easier to reload. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Anyways. Beautiful. It's it's a revolver. Up next is a Tarkov gun. The Taz. It's also in Stalker. So, hope, I, I'm glad we're getting like Tarkov and Stalker-ish like weapons. Like, that, that makes me like, happy because it's like, we're getting variety. And, we leave it so. I would love if we had a functioning, you know, you know, a functioning, you, you know, guys, you, you know, bullet reloading system, you know, putting a bullet back into the gun. I would love if that was a thing. Specifically for that reason right there. Only. Not for any other reason besides that. Just kidding. Of course, there's many reasons. Like it. You're definitely if, if Stalker actually becomes a thing in Bone Lab or any looter shooter survival horror game. Not really horror, but survival game. Oh man. Just know I will love it to death. But yeah, you're all gonna be, <laughs> y'all gonna be panicking a lot. Some of zombies and mutants.
honestly, we could just get a Tarkov style game mode with um, a zombie, COD zombies. I'll be happy with that, honestly. Because it's like infinite survival mode and solving Easter eggs and a full on survival mode that can have all of these guns generated and put into the world with different attachments and everything. Plus, you know. If modders want to, they can easily put in, maybe not easily, but put in a thirst system, food system, stamina system, and a weight system, backpacks, everything. Because I think backpacks would be very, not easy to make, but I would take, I would take the, um, Saints and Sinners way of doing the backpack system. Obviously, make the backpacks their own separate thing, but have and inside inventory so it's like this is how I do it I would have obviously I would use these circles that can hold any item these not the holsters but I mean they're all, all holsters but I make them either this size or smaller and have one on like the side of the backpack on each well it would depend on like all the variety of backpacks like if it's a military backpack I would have like two holsters on the side of it on the outside and then a zipper you can like press on the zipper open up the full bag and then there's like smaller versions maybe and you can just store any item in there but that's for another another day thank you for listening to my uh, ted talk sorry i just really like loading this oh thought i guess not God, bolt action feels so great in this. And it doesn't feel super great. Like, there's a bit of jank, but it's still pretty good for me. Anyways, I know I'm getting way off track. Up next, we got his. Guess we'll start with the Kukuri or Kukuro or whatever this machete big knife is. It's a melee weapon, guys. Y'all can test that yourselves. It's melee. You know, smack, smack. Stab, stab. Next up, you guys, the Stin. Stin, go. My, and yeah, you grab. You can't grab there. Okay. Well. Still waiting on the papiche. Still waiting on the papiche. Oh wait, no, we have the papiche. Do we? Right? We did? Did we? Yes, we did. No. Yes. Yes, no. No, yes. Yes, no. No, yes. Yes, no. No, yes. Yes, yes, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, now I have to look. I honestly don't remember. Do we? Sorry for any background noise, guys. You know, I can't control that, but yeah, we don't. We didn't get it. That's right. We didn't get it. I was, yeah, I remember I was talking about one of these guns. I was like, oh, yeah, give us the papiche. And we still got the papiche. PBSH 41 today. What are y'all doing? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Anyways, awesome stuff. Awesome weapons. Obviously, we got another COD Zombies, or just, just Call of Duty in general. The. Pretty much the P90 top loading. That was smaller than their number. Top loading uh, gun. Loads pretty well. Usually these are hard to reload. Bone lab. I like it. I like this. Very well done, motor. I like it. Thank you for making it really easy to load. Also, a lot of these mods do work with the um, attachment system, so obviously go nuts with that. Even, even the, even this works with it. And, uh, so yeah, have fun. All right, we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Up next is the Brecci, the meme gun. Ha ha ha. 
Brecci guys. It's it's your boy La Brecci. Even has the sound, the right sound and everything. Man, I can't wait. I can't wait. Y'all, modders are insane. Please creating more. Please keep creating more mods. And oh my god, I can't wait. We're gonna, of course, do the shorty from um, Team Fortress. I think it holds three shells, right? Yeah. No. Pray to God you don't get that. Because <laughs> if you do, you're probably gonna... I mean, unless you get it super early in, in all the mode. Up next is everyone's favorite in what grand. This looks like exactly like the one that was in Boneworks. A very weird, thin one. Huh. What are the odds of that? God, it's one of those. You can't hold it by itself. You have to... Oh, I hate that. That's annoying. Oh, hold on. What? Oh, there it goes. There it is. <laughs> Too bad it doesn't eject the, the car cartridge back out. The stripper clip. Or is it, is it, is it considered? Yeah, I think it is. By the way, I'm doing the reload automatically. It doesn't do it by itself. So you can actually just pull the thing or, you know, do that. Good stuff. All of guns. Love it. Oh, come on. There you go. <laughs> Alright, but last but definitely not least, the briefcase. This is a two-in-one weapon. First, first uh, weapon. It, it's a, it's a briefcase. What were you expecting? But second weapon. Yeah, I know that this. Like, who thinks of this stuff? Like, what? Sad thing is you can't you can't rip anything. It's just seems to be one-handed. So it's best to be a strong person when carrying this. But another cool thing is oh sorry. Another cool thing is right back to the briefcase. So inconspicuous. Wow. But yeah guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed all these mods. Obviously, this is the G mod mall map. You can go ahead and explore it to your heart's content. Very nice looking map, very big. A lot of cool areas to explore. I've actually played this back on the Boneworks version. I was gonna do a thing with it, but the mod I want to do it with never came, so. Yeah. Anyway, some objects are physical, like the cup, Doritos, and a few other things. Even the doors work. Look at that. Working door. Working door. Physics. <laughs> Even the cop. Can't break it though. But yeah, that's pretty much good for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, all that jazz. Comment down below if you'd like to see me do more videos on in the near future. As always, better take a step back and draw life. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace!